All right, in this section, or this uh, uh, step of the uh, transfer existing WordPress website to a new domain, we're going to go to our cPanel for our existing domain, the one we're transferring it from, and click on P -I P -A P I'm sorry, PHP My Admin, uh, and you should get uh, uh, an interface similar to this. Uh, on the uh, left, you'll have different uh, databases to select. I've already selected the one that we're going to export. And across the top you'll click on the export tab. You should get an interface that looks like this. Instead of the quick display only the minimal options, you want to click on the custom display all possible options. You want to make sure all your tables are highlighted and in this case they are. And the most critical step is go down here to this object creation options, click add and drop table, and then once you've done that you can click on the button down here it says go. That will go through uh, a process of wanting you to open or save, uh, at least on my uh, computer, uh, give me the option to save the database. I will save it to somewhere on my hard drive. My default is the download directory. Um, I moved it uh, uh, to a different directory so it's easier to find when I need to upload it. But uh, just make sure that you remember where you uh, uh, download that file to, wherever that may be on your computer, whether it be your desktop, whatever. Make sure you remember where that is. That's critical on the, on, on the next couple steps. Um, and you can go ahead and click Go. It should give you this save or open that you want to save. Um, and that is the main portion of this uh, step and remember you want to make sure you click on the add drop table that will prevent errors from occurring when you try to import uh, uh, the database into the new domain um, then go ahead at this point and click home just to kind of put you back at the beginning uh, and that is uh, basically uh, the end of uh, um, step two. We'll see you in the next step.